Kauai has been under attack by many foreign plants, but one of the main invaders is Myconia. And the scientific name is Myconia calvescens, and it's an invasive plant that threatens the watershed on Kauai. It's uh, one of Kauai's um, invasive targets. It um, grows up to about 45 to 60 feet and shades out all the native plants. While Myconia is a very beautiful plant, it is also very destructive on the environment. Uh, it also is very shallow rooting and it creates a lot of erosion. So this, the, a lot of uh, dirt and, and erosion, the, the muddy waters, can make it into the streams and the rivers and actually end up on the, on the reef. Invasive plant that threatens the watershed on Kauai. Myconia is trying to hold its ground against a new technique that the Kauai Invasive Species Committee has started using. We, we started using another method with the low s slow surveys called HPT and it stands for Herbicide Ballistic Technology. And basically what that is, is they take paintballs and they fill them with herbicide and they shoot them out of the paintball, paintball guns at the plants while they're surveying from the helicopter. We're working with Dr. James Leary who actually came up with this idea. And he's done a lot of research and trials um, to make sure that this is an effective method. The paintball method is very effective on the helicopter. Um, all it needs to take is uh, two or three shots to hit the stem. Maybe a month later we go back in by feet and we hike to the plant and we go check if they're dead. And most times they're dead. <laughs> Even though this method is successful, it will still take a lot of work to stop the spread of seeds. We, we manage myconia is that our goal is to prevent any plants from becoming mature because when they become mature, they set seeds. And when they set seeds, those seeds are carried by birds and deposited elsewhere, you know, in this area. And it can make more plants, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of plants. The seed, once the seed lands in the ground, um, it can stay viable, meaning that it can sprout up to 16, 20, 16, 17 and counting years from the time it drops in the ground. The Quiet Invasive Species Committee cannot fight this battle alone. Luckily, other organizations are joining this fight against Myconia. It's a partnership project between KISC and the, the DLNR Division of Forestry and Wildlife and the Nature Conservancy and the College of Tropical Agriculture and many other people that have volunteered to come up with us to work on the Myconia. So it's really a collaborative project. We're working with the University of Hawaii at Manoa College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources. Although KISC and their allies are making their best efforts to get rid of Myconia, will it be enough? For CKTV News, this has been Micah Matsunaga reporting.